ready. Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Latest news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. I want to go ahead and talk about this situation here that's going on with um, Cardi B and Candace Owens' child. They're back in the news. Okay, let me share my tab. Give me just a second here. So, we got to talk about this. All right, so Candace Owens, um, let me read the article. So, Cardi B has taken a stance on the debate surrounding adult content after Candace Owens took to X to call for a ban, a ban on pornography. So, she's saying it's a psychological weapon intended to weaken our men. In response, Cardi B shared an Instagram comment in defense of porn. So let me show y'all this, this uh, comment here. And so the comment says, oh my God, why y'all so against porn? Is it that bad for y'all? I enjoy it, but I don't know. I guess it's like, you know, six times a year type thing. I personally don't feel no connection or addiction to it. It's just a quick one, two, nothing like real intimacy. So she posted that. It was somebody else's comment. And so people started dragging Cardi. And then she was like, she wrote how it actually teaches men how to please women. Okay. First of all, Cardi. Y'all not love me some Cardi. She's a tea sipper. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's baby sis, but she's all the way wrong in this situation. I got to hold her feet to the fire, okay? Y'all not on, I don't do the bias shit here. I don't care how cool I am with somebody. First and foremost, I'm, and y'all know I'm no fan of Candace Owens. I don't really like her either, but Candace is, I don't, I can't really say that it should be banned, right? Because I think if we say just ban porn outright, then that's a slippery slope, Right? Because then what's next? We're going to also ban liquor and weed and, you know, what else? But I get what Candace is saying. Cardi, I don't know where you've been, but uh, porn is not a good thing for men. It doesn't teach men how to, like, satisfy women, how to please women. Are you serious? Like, what porn are you watching? Most porn is about pleasing the man, if anything. You know, a lot of it is very degrading. Um you know, the gang bangs, the, you know, two girls, one guy. I don't know, like, I, I don't, I've never watched porn and been like, yeah, this is really gonna teach a man how to like treat a woman. There, there's no real connection with porn. Even like, I mean, just think about the damn, like the, the script. Ladies in the kitchen doing the dishes. Plumber walks in, you know, to look underneath the sink. He looks under the sink. Oh, she doesn't have on any panties. He reaches up and just starts fingering her. And then she falls down and rides his face. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not like, like what, what connection? What intimacy? A man just, a stranger just walked in your house and your face fucking him. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> like, what are you talking about, sis? Like, what? what, what? <laughs> Did I just make a porn script in my head? chiropractor i need my back cracked and then she'll lay down and then all of a sudden the man's rubbing out her and whoop, the, you know the pain went in like what like what are you talking about it's not teaching men intimacy and how to treat a woman and, and romanticize her no it's just about a quick smash okay so i think she's like somebody said i need to be a porn director oh my god <laughs> I need to get in my porn directing bag. Oh no, I don't want to be a porn director, but you know, I've, I've watched a few videos, but I think, you know, we do have to have a real conversation about porn, okay? And again, it's not to knock nobody, but I think that, you you know, 
we're, we're overly sexualized as a, as a society. Like everything is sex, 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 sex. And this gener it's really affecting this generation of young men and women. Like I was watching something the other day and I, I'm thinking about doing a video breakdown on it. It's like one, the loneliest generation most people are not even in relationships anymore. They don't know how to communicate. And this is like, this generation of men is the largest generation of men who are going without sex. They're not having sex on a regular basis. And I'm not talking about like 14, 15 year olds. I'm talking about guys who are like 25 and up. They can't get laid. The women are busy fucking the rose and the men are busy jerking. Nobody's sleeping with each other. The birth rates are going down. I'm sorry, I'm just keeping it real, y'all. <laughs> like, the women are in love with their roses. They don't want to be bothered. The men have jerked themselves into ED. You got younger and younger dudes suffering from erectile dysfunction. So, Candace is not lying when she says that porn can be very, very destructive. It really can. Like, I didn't even realize this whole honey thing. Like, there's a thing called honey packs. Somebody was telling me about it because I didn't even know what it was. Because, you know, I'm all about honey. So I thought it was like, you know, like honey. Like, you know, like honey you put in tea. They're like, no, it's honey packs. Like, you know, you take these honey packs and you can keep going and going. And I'm looking like, but y'all are not old. Like, what do y'all mean honey packs? They're like, it's like modern day Viagra. Let me show you this video. I ended up finding a video. I guess all the young dudes are taking it now because of Kodak Black. Let me share this. Put a teacup in the chat if y'all have heard of honey packs. It's something that all the Gen Zers are doing. I didn't know about this until recently. So Kodak pa Kodak Pack. <laughs> Kodak Black was showing about honey packs. We're gonna watch this. Yeah, hey, that boy that boy got a thump head. <laughs> that boy shit like a nut. Check this out, y'all. <laughs> and what was that, me, darling? Okay, so basically, I guess what you can equate it to, it's it's raw honey. They're um they're called honey packs. They're basically like it's like liquid Viagra, and it's honey. And so people be like they like dudes be like putting it on chicken wings. And <laughs> they pour it in their Hennessy. I'm, <laughs> I'm just the messenger, okay? So they're like putting it in Hennessy. They're putting it on their chicken wings. And so like all these dudes are like taking honey packs and it's starting to like really have an effect. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like on a lot of young guys on like taking these honey packs, it's like having an effect because it's like Viagra. And if you're taking this really young in your twenties, well, what's gonna happen by the time you're 40? Like you shouldn't need it at like, I don't know, like under 35, but it's like all these young dudes are taking it. So this is starting to become a conversation like on TikTok and on social media because you have like young kids in high school that are like popping Viagra, they're popping honey packs, they're popping blue rhinos and all this stuff. And I'm just like, why are all these young dudes eating like raw honey chicken wings? Like, what is the problem? And then I realized it's because a lot of these dudes have been watching porn since they were like 10 and 11. And because they've been, they've had so much access to porn from the time they were kids. Now, when it's time for them to perform, it's getting harder and harder for them. So it can be very dangerous. So no, Cardi, you cannot be out here promoting that this is, this teaches men how to please women and that there's nothing wrong with it. It's really affecting intimacy for a lot of young men and, and young women. It's, it's really becoming like an epidemic because a lot of them have been so desensitized now. Like their dopamine receptors are off. Like when you're watching porn and you're jerking off, you're getting dopamine receptors. And because now they have so much access to it all the time, like literally you will see people in traffic. You will see people at the bus stop. You will see people waiting for the train and they're literally watching porn on their phone. It's like, are you serious? On your phone, waiting for the train? It used to be people would be like in their room at like two o'clock in the morning underneath their covers. Now they're literally right in the train watching porn. Am I lying? I've seen this on the East Coast. Shout out to Nutty New York, no pun intended. 
I'm like, not this man on the train watching porn. No shame. Yes, at work. I remember one of my coworkers got fired for watching porn. Lost his, so he had been there for years. Lost his whole career. He was so addicted to porn, he was watching it on the computer at work. And they caught him. I don't know if he was jerking, but he was watching porn during work. And he lost everything was fired, had been there for years. So, I mean, the addiction to porn is really, really sad. And it, it, it's, and it doesn't just affect young men. That's what people need to understand. Remember when Billie Eilish came out, I believe a year ago, and I really respected her for being honest. And she said that she became addicted to porn at like, what, 12 years old? And people got really mad. Like, oh, that's disgusting. Why would she say that? And it's like, how is that disgusting? Do you understand that kids younger and younger are r running across porn? And they're getting tapped into that sexual aspect of themselves way earlier than they should. So what she said is very, very real. So why everybody screaming, not my child, not my child. I keep telling y'all, as soon as you go onto places like Twitter and you're putting in searches for the most basic stuff, there is porn. Literally, it could be putting in kittens and there'll be porn stars hashtagging kittens. But it's not kittens. It's somebody getting their kitty ate. It's like, what the hell is this? So kids are being like inundated with porn all over social media, especially on X. So yeah, it's it's really sad like how that's happening at this point in time. So I want to show y'all this clip of this man talking about it. Hold on, where is it at? About like just some of the dangers. Okay. He was saying some like real stuff. We're going to watch this clip really quick. Let me share my screen. And so when you are watching porn, you're getting dopamine hits. And those dopamine hits, you're conditioning yourself. Okay, when I do something shameful and that I feel guilty about, I get dopamine hits. Oh my God, I do not want to get this awesome, great dopamine hit that's supposed to be good for me. Mm -hmm. Like working out. That's a dopamine hit. Right. Making love to your spouse, that's a good dopamine hit, right? Um, doing a hard day's work and feeling accomplished, that's a good dopamine hit. Watching porn secretly because you don't want to be found because you'll feel guilt and shame and getting a dopamine hit, you're conditioning yourself to get dopamine out of negativity, negative things, number one. Number two, guilt and shame are very low on the frequency chart. So you just feel like a low vibrating human and you attract low bad negative stuff into your life. And number three, and this is recently, has recently been found in the last 12 months, 12 to 14 months, there's something called porn-induced erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Porn-induced erectile dysfunction. So there used to be a time that people were starting to get impotent or would have erectile dysfunction in their 40s and 50s and 60s as they get older, right? Right. Now, young kids, teens, Kids in their 20s and their 30s are, are unable to get an erection and have sex because they're so used to watching a porn scene that is so exaggerated, mm -hmm. so over the top, that has released so much intense dopamines when you're watching the threesome, foursome, gangbangs, whatever the fuck it is that you weirdos are into. <laughs> and I don't judge you. I've been down that path, but I stopped. But when you're into that shit and then you come home to your beautiful spouse and you just have to make love to her, you're like, well, I don't know, man. Like, it's not eight of you <laughs> on top of each other with weird tools and gadgets and a swing and a, and a, and right. a ball gag from Pulp Fiction, <laughs> right? Shout out to Quentin Tarantino and Pulp Fiction. You know what I'm talking about, main. All right. So y'all heard it from a man himself. So it's not, I mean, so I'm not over exaggerating when I'm saying this, like it, it's really affecting men and women, especially younger people. You know, like it, it shocks me at like how many young people are like really not, you know, they're not intimate, they're not, they can't get boyfriends, they can't get girlfriends. And um, somebody even said this uh, in the chat. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, where did it go? Okay, Lonely Boy says there was a guy at my school who was jacking off to porn in front of the whole class at school. It was recorded and went viral. Ever since then, the Wi-Fi was blocked from my old high school. Damn. Oh, my God. 
In the middle of class? I heard a lot of boys go to the boys' bathroom, like in the high schools, and they have to have a jerk-off session. It's that bad nowadays. So, you know, when I see somebody like Cardi with such a huge platform, you got to be responsible because a lot of these kids are really addicted to porn. Like he was saying, and then when it it's exaggerated, there's so many scenes. Um, you might watch a five-minute porn scene, but it literally took, you know, hours to shoot. They got to get the angles. It's no different than acting a regular scene. You might watch a, a, a hour long movie or, you know, a 30 minute skit, but it takes so long. You got to shoot different scenes and, oh, that sound was off or, oh, he's soft. We got to make him hard again. Somebody rub on her nipples. Like it's, it's a lot to shoot a porn scene. It just is. Okay. Um, but somebody was just saying something about their baby daddy in the chat. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, where did it go? She was basically saying that it was true that it's so bad. Her baby's dad took her out on Mother's Day and he was watching porn at Old Country Buffet while they were out on Mother's Day. That's crazy. My page just like totally refreshed. Yeah, so, you know, again, and this is not to judge or shame anybody. I know I'm not about that. You know what I'm saying? People are going to be addicted to what they're addicted to, but understand that there, there are real consequences. And if you're constantly getting dopamine hits from like constantly like jerking off, again, I'm talking to the guys and girls. I'm not just trying to like make the guys feel bad or nothing like that. Because a lot of you girls are addicted to roses. We've had this conversation on Discord and I told you guys, y'all are creating soul ties with these damn, um, with these uh, roses. And that's a form of like, you know how we talk about like spirits in the computers, you know, like it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a, I don't know, it's, it's some type of connection. Like people are like really ready to fight if they can't find their roles. We've had real conversations. There's a spiritual aspect to like a lot of those toys. And sometimes you can mess with toys so much that then when it's time to interact with the human being, you can't because now you're expecting a guy to make you bust 10 times in a row. Well, the that's not gonna happen with, a, with the average human being. They're not a jackrabbit, okay? So that's not gonna happen. So then you feel like this guy's weak or he can't perform or he's not making you gush like a river. When that's happening because you're, you're having sex with a toy that can go, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, 20, you know what I mean? Until the battery dies. That's not how human beings work. So like all of these things are desensitizing us and making us lose that human connection. No different than when young, young guys are like constantly addicted to porn and they're watching so much porn that like the guy was saying, you're so used to watching gangbangs and threesomes and eightsomes and you know, 30 people in a room screwing and then now you're, it's just you and your girlfriend, that looks boring. You don't wanna just screw your girlfriend. You know, you got to have a butt plug in and, and, you know, three other girls in the room because of all the stuff that you're consuming. So a lot of that stuff, yeah, the Energizer Bunny type shit. Like a lot of that stuff is not normal. Somebody said, T, you're preaching child. <laughs> yeah, like, so I just, I want people to understand that. Yeah, somebody said it's all by design. I really feel like it is. Like the way, like on social media and TikTok, think about it. Gen X is constantly being pushed honey packs. The boys are being pushed honey packs because they done jerked off so much to porn, they can't get it up. A lot of them. And then the girls are being constantly pushed the roles. But what is pushing relationships and, you know what I'm saying, boyfriend and girlfriend and, and healthy intimacy? There's, that's not being pushed. It's just honey packs, blue rhino, and roses. You know, so it's, it's just really sad. So why I don't think it should be banned, because I think there's a place for most things. You know, I don't think it should be banned, right? Because um, again, I feel like that's a slippery slope if you just ban all porn. But I think that there needs to be a real conversation about the side effects of too much porn and porn addiction and how it's literally ruined lives. It's, it's ruined people's marriages, relationships. And then what I've also... Um, found out i went down this rabbit hole about a year ago um about like former porn stars 
and like what they go through and they go through a lot of just horrible shit in that industry like the stds that are caught even though they claim that everybody's getting tested people are still coming up with stds um a lot of the ex-porn stars have ran to spirituality a lot of them are like reborn again christians like it's it's crazy there's a lot of demonic shit that goes on in the porn world and so this one girl, she was a porn star and she was talking about like how she left the porn industry and, you know, now she's with Christ and stuff like that. But there's a lot of ex porn stars um, who have gone back to like the church and things like that. Yeah, a lot of thank you. Maria said a lot of them off themselves too. the S word is very, very high in the porn industry. Did Mia Khalifa, did she did she leave porn? I know she was like the big Muslim islamic porn lady and then i know they banned her off for twitter for some reason i forgot but yeah it is it's 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 crazy like a lot of the stuff that's going on um somebody said do a deep dive i could it would be but then it's like i don't know um would it have to be super censored you know what i'm saying i i, I don't know how i would do a deep dive on porn, I guess maybe I could do it on the porn industry or something. But yeah, I went down like a lot of rabbit holes like a year ago. Um, and um, it's it's really scary. Okay, so she has an OnlyFans still. And even OnlyFans too is a gateway. That that That's another thing too that they're saying is affecting this generation, the Gen Zers, because a lot of the girls are on OnlyFans, you know, they're selling themselves for a bag. And again, yes, initially when you go on there, you're the new girl. So everybody wants to see your tits and your ass and everything else. So yeah, you get that dopamine rush. You know, you made 50 grand your first month. And then it, it tapers off and you have to do more and more. Nobody's going to keep paying you 50 bucks a month to see you in different bikini outfits. Like nobody cares. So yeah, the first month or two, they'll pay. But then... You want more money? You're going to have to put this foot in your coochie. You're going to have to, you know what I'm saying, do all types of shit. <laughs> there be all types of crazy shit going on on OnlyFans. They might as well just call it a porn site at this point. Because, no, like, people go on there and at first they're in sexy outfits and lingerie. But then you come back three, four months later, they're having full-blown out sex. It's, it's no, what's the difference between OnlyFans and Pornhub? It's not a big difference, really. When you're talking about the sexual side of OnlyFans, I know there's another side where people just, you know, cook and knit, but I'm talking about the sexual part of OnlyFans. Yeah, they end up doing really crazy stuff on there. And I don't know what this is. Like, we had a conversation about this on Telegraph. I don't know what this foot thing is, but feet belong on the floor. I don't know why or who started this sticking people's foot in places that it should not go. But this is also becoming the thing on social media. I'm like, did T.I. start this? Remember when that girl sued T.I. because she said T.I. <laughs> she said T.I. put his foot in her coochie. So I don't know. People are testing it out. I don't know what this is about. But it's a new trend on social media. Foot fucking. Like it should, your feet belong on the ground. You're supposed to walk. <laughs> Them boots were made for walking, literally. <laughs> so I don't know. All I know is that they be on OOF doing some strange things for some change. And that, you know, porn addiction is very, very real. So I do not agree with Cardi B in that sense. That porn does not teach men how to, you know, treat women. It does not teach men how to, you know, have sex better. It does not do that. You know what I'm saying? It's just about getting off. That That's what it is. Nobody's watching porn like, oh, uh, I, I want to watch this to, you know, see how I can tie my girl up in, in bondage rope and, you know what I'm saying, and, and whip her and all this stuff. Like, that's not, people are watching porn to get off. They're not really watching because they want to make their girl feel good, you know? Yeah, it's it's a mess. It's a mess out here. Can somebody clip the phone? <laughs> oh, you'll see all types of mess on Twitter, child. I'm telling like, you literally can be on Twitter minding your business. The stuff I see on Twitter. Even now, there's a thing where, like, people are, like, having sex outside. And I'm not saying, like, you know, in the car. I'm talking about, like, you know how, like, um, 
when we lived in Charlotte, how the apartments in the South, you had to go from the outside to get into somebody's apartment. People would just be literally having sex outside on the railings. And that's all up and down Twitter. Just outside, just fucking out. I'm like, do that. People have neighbors. Like, who wants to come home after a long day of work and both your neighbors are just screwing right there on the balcony against the railing? Yeah, it's a mess. The stuff that just pops up on, on, on Twitter and on social media. Oh, exhibitionist, is that what it's called? SW, thank you. Somebody said they'd be at the bank, the library, the staircases. Yes, it's all over social media. Obviously, a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about because y'all writing whole paragraphs. Like, yeah, yeah, the exhibitionists. Yeah, they be outside, but it's not like... Back in our day, if you did something outside, you were in a car. You know what I'm saying? Okay, we outside, but we're still in a car. So for the most part, you can still hide from the public. <laughs> These fools are outside, like they're literally like on like the stairwell, in the library, underneath the table. It's just weird. I don't, I don't know. And the kids are seeing this on Twitter. Because like I said, I run across it all the time on Twitter. So I know kids are seeing this shit. Yeah, they're literally refusing to get a room, Amani. Amani's like, get a room. No, they, they refuse. They want everybody to see what they can, what they got going on. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.